just so everyone knows, I'm moving away from this whole thing, getting all of the stuff with Isaac Cappy investigated. Not because I'm giving up on it, but because I know that it's all being <laughs> investigated. And uh, I know that without a doubt. People, in my last video, people thought, have seen that there's a weight lifted off my shoulders. And uh, it's true. And what it is, is that I have been involved with this. They have made my life a living fucking hell. They hit me with their directed energy weapons constantly. They're on, they're, they're like 50 to 100 feet away from me on several sides of my house. They, I am surrounded. And the law enforcement. So it's, it's hard. They want me to feel like I'm being, I'm just inundated. There's nothing but them. And I was starting to feel like that. I was. And I was starting really to question everything. And then comes the story of Michael Aquino, who supposedly killed himself three years ago. And, <laughs> and now, and he resurrected himself. Only two, three years later, realized that he made the right decision the worst. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I, I laugh, but you have to understand, it is the stupidest story I've ever heard in my life. And if you knew who these people were, Aquino, the first time I heard that he committed suicide, I didn't believe it, because he's not the type. This dude is the most narcissistic, self-serving evil dude you could ever meet now now granted i knew him when he was a young man because when i was a kid he was a young man a lot of them were relatively young not all of them because where i was at as a kid he wasn't always in charge Hummel park but not at off at air force base he was in he was involved but there were people beyond him that were involved. And so uh, the whole situation is just... The fact that they think that this story is going to help them, I just know that the darkness has encompassed them. And so... There's really nothing more I need to do with this whole situation. People are investigating them, obviously, because they wouldn't come up with this stupid, idiotic story just because of me. So they have to be investigated, which was all I ever wanted. Because their issue is not so much that they believe that they're smarter than everyone else, but that they think everyone else is a fucking dumbass. And... Just by the comments that are being left in my YouTube um, videos, people are not dumbasses, you know? And there's only a few people who usually leave comments. And so I would only assume that the other people who are watching, who are not commenting, are also not dumbasses. They're just, they have their eyes wide awake and I just needed everything to be investigated and Isaac Cappy and what happened to him definitely needed needs to be investigated and it is that's the reason why they came up with this ludicrous story that uh Aquino resurrected himself only to do himself in The story is idiotic. So anyway, with that said, I realized the 
I believe that things are over. I think that we are at the point of ascension. The point that nobody thought would happen is now upon us. And my focus can't be on these assholes. My focus has to be on the spiritual stuff. Telling people what I was trained to do and what I used it to do and what I know about where we are now. Because without a doubt, I can tell you that heaven exists it's just on the other side, you know, and it's inside of us and all around us. There's nothing that isn't God. And we are supposed to fill our hearts with love. And I say that, but I realize I've never really gone into detail. So I'll start by saying this. I've thought a lot about the darkness. This is what I know about the darkness. They bound me to the dark before I even knew that I was alive because I was a baby. And they trained me to believe that I was going to be the vessel for the Antichrist. <clears throat> Not that I would be the Antichrist, but that I'd be like some sort of pod creature and I'd be inhabited and then I wouldn't have any control. That's what I was trained. The darkness, they bound me to the darkness. And... The reason why they can't find anything in my past is because I never, I didn't want to be the vessel for the Antichrist. And so uh, I was trying to do everything I could to get out of it. And so doing a bunch of weird, creepy shit like they all do seemed kind of counterproductive. You know what I'm saying? You know? I don't want to be the Antichrist, but I'm going to go out and do all of this weird evil shit. It doesn't make any sense. It never happened. Because I did not want to be the Antichrist. But binding me to that darkness. I reached a point in my life where I had to stop running from the darkness. I had to stop running. And through shamanic work and a lot of therapy, I was able to turn around and embrace my darkness. When you deny your dark or you run from your dark, it allows the darkness to control you. And it is only in understanding something that you're able to influence and control it. And the only thing that we are able to control in this world, the only thing that we are truly able to control is ourselves. And so I had to turn around and embrace the dark because there was a lot of dark, you know, the Mesner will say, why did I stay with all of this? It's so old, everyone is dead. Which, he was lying to me because my stepmother's not dead and she was definitely a huge part of this shit. Especially with my dad. You don't, you can't comprehend for years, for years, it took a lot of therapy and all of that. I would go to sleep and uh, hear the screams of little boys. When they lit me, when they, they made me light that dude on fire, it scrambled everything, but it made it all accessible and all available. And what they've done was in my dreams. And so shamanically, <clears throat> I was able to use their remote viewing bullshit. But instead of going outward, I went inward. And went and found 
heaven. And that has changed everything. But the darkness is here. I don't really need control of it. The thing about darkness is if you have dark in your heart, it doesn't need an invitation. It's not a fucking vampire. If you have dark in your heart, it's an open invitation. It just goes right on in. And it's going to compel you to do stupid, crazy shit that won't make any fucking sense. And it's all being helped with all of the gamma radiation that the sun is inundating us with, with all of those solar flares. It's all... We are being tested by fire. And so this is kind of a rambling whole situation. I'm trying to figure out where I want to go with all of this stuff. But their shit is falling apart. The darkness has control of them. Even around here, I know my sheriff is not happy with me because I know they're being investigated too. Because they thought that everyone was like them. And they haven't figured out. It only takes one to stand up and say no. Because the majority of people are not dark and they're not evil. But it's time for people to be able to be exposed to the another part of this whole situation. Because... Christian, all of the religions are being used to separate and divide people and get us at each other's throats. That's what it's being used for. And don't fall for it. Love life, God, and everything, and love everyone else. If you're not doing these two things, you're fucking up. And we're at a time you seriously do not want to fuck up. So, this is the beginning of a new day for me on these videos. You want to know all the shit? I've said all the shit about Isaac Cappy that I'm... It's now being <laughs> investigated. Or... You know, if they find out that Colonel Aquino resurrected himself, I really would like to know about it. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs>